Hi everyone, it's Monday at the Mystical Magical Mansion. Welcome, if this is the first time you're here to tune into this channel. My name is Kim, my husband Ryan and I bought this beautiful old mansion built in 1910 in Omaha, Nebraska in the historic Gold Coast neighborhood. And each week we share a little bit about our home, our history, our family, and what's going on here at the Mystical Magical Mansion. So it's a cold day out, it's, it's post-holiday, and sadly all of our Christmas decorations are going down. So if you hear a little rustling around in the background, that's Ryan doing his work. And I, I don't like these days. I don't like it when all the color comes down and it feels like everything's feel a little plainer and a little less colorful. So we've got some other projects going on at the house that will, you know, give us something else to do other than the holidays. But I wanted to, first of all, before I do anything else, give a great big thanks to Sandy, who sent us some beautiful gifts from her mother's home. So I'm gonna show you those. So first, we have this beautiful little jewelry box. I'm gonna make sure the light's not reflecting on it badly. But look at this, it's got this image of this little girl, and then it opens. It used to be musical, but it's the little switch on it in the bottom um, no longer works. But I wish it did, and if there's a way to fix it, we certainly will. But this is such a treasure. It was her mother's, and she got this, I think, um, I understand, for her 16th birthday, which makes this very, very old. So thank you. This was very, very sweet, and I'm so touched by it, and it will definitely have a special place. I'll let you know where it ends up landing um, here in the Mystical Magical Mansion, but thank you. What a sweet gift. I'm very touched and honored by this. And then also, of course, another turkey platter. Who can't have too many turkey platters, right? So this is gorgeous. It's got a stamp on the back that says Japan. I'm not sure of the maker. It doesn't have a, like a maker design on it. I've just kind of the little bit of research that I've done, I think this is from the 60s. So um, if anybody has any idea or one similar to it, but it's got really beautiful, you know, fruit um, painted around the outside and he's a very majestic turkey. So this was Sandy's mom's as well is my understanding so thank you thank you that is just such a treasure and i'm so touched that you would send that and let it live here with us and yes we'll use this and it won't be just at thanksgiving i'll use it other times during the year maybe we'll do a turkey at easter and use this platter so thank you if you're very kind so just like most old houses there's something that you're planning to fix and then there are the things that need to be fixed because something went wrong. So I'm going to give you a look at what's happening in the third floor bathroom upstairs because nothing has gone as planned. The one out there is set up to where it's just yeah. a tub inlet. It doesn't have... Leland like doing a little a plumbing here. Tub spout hey, well. water, so I can't really... Did you drop your tools? I can't really reuse anything out of it. Watch your head, please. Okay, so we have the green bathroom on the third floor, which has a little plumbing issue. A major plumbing issue, actually. And Mr. Fix-It, are we going to be able to do it? hope so. <laughs> so, we got the though. other faucets fixed because these were leaking. And then while this was being fixed, the shower head sort of nozzly thing broke off. It brought it off. Your yeah. tub spell. Yeah, so that... There used to be a piece of pipe here that rotted and disintegrated. Yeah, it's so, bad. And they don't there, make these <laughs> anymore. There should be pipe here, but there's not. That's the issue. So <laughs> Got it. Replace that. Got it. And you're going to need a new tub spout with a zipper. Well, thank goodness that you have your helper here helping. Yeah, he's <laughs> doing some good work. <laughs> Yeah. Concrete plaster. So, but that's plastic tile, right? Yeah, these are plastic tiles. And yeah, that's what we thought. Okay. Cracked because that this was your support for your riser for the shower head. Mm -hmm. and I'm guessing just a little bit of stress on these. They kind of yes. did some cheesy, glue or something on cheesy, it. Cheesy. Well, it's like an epoxy with a concrete anchor in it. 
Ah, okay. And so I yeah. I think they drilled two little holes. So there was just some wiggle in here. So it was just kind of pulled out things. Okay. Okay. So that's gonna need to be fixed as well. So these that's tiles so up here, so we've yeah. got the porcelain halfway up. So this is the original porcelain. Kind yeah, of, if you touch it, yeah, you can feel it. Obviously the difference. a difference, yeah. And yeah, we noticed when we were painting we some of them were yeah. Thin. Yeah, they were like peeling, some of the corners were coming up, so we weren't planning on redoing this bathroom right away because I do love this a lot of the historical stuff is still like we're trying to restore salvage well, I mean, save but the good news is if you want to redo the tile it's just this little section yeah so yeah like your porcelain tile is still good yeah it's just that top part. and we've got the glass tile like the towel bar and all that that's all original which is yeah. kind of amazing don't tell me it's coming loose. Tell me it's perfect. No, yeah. well, <laughs> I don't know if that is, but you have a screw hanging on. Okay. So we started fixing one problem. We ended up with a second problem. Just and a hopefully bit bigger of a problem. it is a bigger problem. Yeah. The first problem wasn't a very big deal, but the second problem is much bigger. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay, well, it's a work in progress. Yeah. Okay, so what happened? What is the story? So this is what it used to look like. This was where the edge of your tub was, and this was all going through the tub and behind it. This was the riser going up to your shower head. Okay. And that used to be pipe inside of there. So. It's a little three quarter nipple, and it is rotted and gone. So that's where your leak was. Uh huh. So okay. We have Wait. To a new one of these. But they're kind of hard to find. <laughs> yeah. We may have one found. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. I'll get the rest of the stuff from work. Okay. Got it. it. So right now we're actually in our bathroom. So I can show you with the shower setup and how this plumbing is actually supposed to look if it's functional and not rusted and broken. This is the shower in our bathroom. This is how it's supposed to look. The modification was made so that the shower head is attached by this long tube water running up there so a lot of you know modern things modern bathrooms that would be inside the wall but at our house it's visible for all the world to see um, and then the little shower head down there for the attachment comes out of the top of the spigot which is not the original but this was modified at a certain point in time to make this usable as a shower in the main bathroom here in our house so this is where we shower Sorry boys, no dating. Nope. <laughs> She's too cute. So there's two things going on currently at the old mystical magical mansion. I'm putting away Christmas stuff. So I'm getting the village put away and getting all of my boxes packed up. But for some reason, I'm missing some boxes, which is weird. I brought them all up, stored them all in the same spot. Like I said, Kim's currently filming for the Mystical Magical Mansion. So you just may have to watch out. Your boxes for things may be used in production value and that's why you can't find your stuff. So thank you to all of you. And I hope all of you have a born entertainer in your household, just like mine. <laughs> it was always gotta be never in the foreground, but always getting attention in the background. I hope you do something unapologetically fancy this week. Get out your dishes, your jewelry, have a great glass of wine, get together with a friend, just do all of those things that make you feel special. We shouldn't keep everything tucked away in our drawers and our cupboards for special occasions because you know what? We're not guaranteed it tomorrow and you deserve the good stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Sandy and your family for sharing your mother's treasures with us. A huge thank you to my very handsome son, Colton, who happens to be a steam fitter and is helping us with the third floor bathroom and um, 
I'm sure at some point my niece Josie, who is living with us, that's the bathroom in her little apartment space up there, will definitely appreciate actually having a shower. What are you doing in the background? I'm thanking me. Thank you to my husband who's doing work in the background while I'm shooting the most important video of the week, right? Yes. Somebody's got to do it. Yes. So take good care. Have a wonderful week. Stay well, do something unapologetically fancy, and best wishes from the Mystical Magical Mansion.